Hey guys welcome back to another video, Half's Fortnite porting just had a huge update, bug fixes and other features, I've left all the important links in the description, make sure you check them, let's get started on the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is to go down to the first link in the description and that will take you to Half Discord server. Big thanks to Half for creating this Fortnite importer. Now download it to your desktop. Right click the WinRAR folder, and extract files to the desktop. Now you can delete the WinRAR folder. Now go ahead and open Blender, we are going to install the Fortnite porting add-on. Now go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, Desktop, and click the Fortnite porting folder and install Fortnite porting server.zip and press Install add-on, then you want to make sure it's enabled by ticking Fortnite porting. Now go back to the desktop and open Fortnite porting. If this didn't open, go down to the second link in the description to download .NET 6.0 runtime. If not, go ahead and skip this step. Once you open Fortnite porting, check for updates, it will automatically download the latest version of the add-on. You will need to sync the Blender version you're currently using for the add-on to work. P.S. This app only works for 3.4 and under. Now select any characters you want, and just simply send to Blender, it's that easy. Now if you want a custom rig like this one, Half has an amazing rig made by Tasty on his porting. Just go to options and change the default rig to the custom Tasty rig, then just send to Blender. You can also port, back blings, pickaxes, gliders, weapons, vehicles, props, and even emotes. To import emotes, go to emotes tab and go to options, and make sure you have the default rig options, not tasty rig. Now select the armature, and with it selected choose the emote you want and simply send to blender. Also, Half just added cell shaded characters, so if you want them, you have to go to settings and change stable to experimental and restart your Fortnite porting. Sometimes some textures are missing, but you can do them manually and most of the time it works properly. Some features you can port multiple meshes at once by control selecting them. That's all for this video, if you have any questions or problems related to this video, leave a support ticket in half discord server or in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, leave a like and subscribe, I'll be making more videos on this, so stay tuned, thanks for watching.